Hello everyone, I'm back with today's wow session that is words of wisdom. And today we have very, very famous poet and writer Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond, born on the 19th of May 1934, is an Indian author of British descent. He lives with his adopted family in Landore, Missouri, India. The Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award in 1992 for Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra, his novel in English. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 and Padma Bhushan in 2014. We can see the childhood pictures of Ruskin Bond here. He used to say, I decided long ago to stop trying to grow up. So here I am, a young boy, an old writer without regrets. Ruskin Bond was born to Edith Clark and Aubrey Alexander Bond in Kasoli, Punjab State's Agency, British India. His father taught English to the princesses of Jamnagar Palace and Ruskin and his sister Ellen lived there till he was six. Later, Ruskin's father joined the Royal Air Force in 1939 and Ruskin, along with his mother and sister, went to live at his maternal home at Dehradun. Shortly after that, he was sent to a boarding school in Missouri. When Bond was eight years old, his mother separated from his father and married a Punjabi Hindu, Hari. His father arranged for Ruskin to be brought to New Delhi, where he was posted. He was very close to his father and describes this period with his father as one of the happiest times of his life. Ruskin used to say, it's courage, not luck, that takes us through to the end of the road. He also used to say, read as widely as you can. You will never regret it. So when Ruskin was 10, his father died of malaria where he was posted in Calcutta. Ruskin was at his boarding school in Shimla and was informed about this tragedy by his teacher. He was thoroughly heartbroken. Later, he was raised by his mother and stepfather who lived in Dehradun. He did his schooling from Bishop Cotton School in Shimla, from where he graduated in 1950. He won several writing competitions in the school, including the Irvin Divinity Prize and the Haley Literature Prize. He wrote one of his first short stories, Untouchable, at the age of 16 in 1951. Most of his works are influenced by life in the hill stations at the foothills of the Himalayas, where he spent his childhood. His first novel, The Room on the Roof, was written when he was 17 and published when he was 21. It was partly based on his experiences at Dehradun in his small rented room on the roof and his friends. His earlier works were written without it being meant for any particular readership. His first children's book, Angry River, published in the 1970s, had its writing toned down on the publisher's request for a children's story. On writing for children, he said, I had a pretty lonely childhood and it helps me to understand a child better. Bond's work reflects 
his Anglo-Indian experiences and the changing political, social and cultural aspects of India having been through colonial, post-colonial and post-independence phases of India. Bond said that while his autobiographical work Rain in the Mountains was about his years spent in Missouri, scenes from a writer's life described his first 21 years. Scenes from a writer's life focuses on Bond's trip to England, his struggle to find a publisher for his first book, the room on the roof and his yearning to come back to India, particularly to Dune, that is Dehradun. It also tells a lot about my parents, said Bond. The book ends with the publication of my first novel and my decision to make writing my livelihood. Bond, say, Bond said, adding, basically it describes how I became a writer. Being a writer for over 50 years, Bond experimented with different genres. Early works include fiction, short stories, novellas, with some being autobiographical. Later, he tried out non-fiction, romance and books for children. He said his favorite genres are essays and short stories. He considered himself a visual writer because for short stories, he first imagines it like a film and then notes it down. For an essay or travelogue, such planning is not needed for him. He feels the unexpected there makes it more exciting. Born likes just William by Richmond Crompton, Billy Bunter by Charles Hamilton and classics such as Alice in Wonderland and works by Charles Dickens and Mark Twain. Bond used to say, I'm still on my zigzag way, pursuing the diagonal between reason and heart. In 1978, Bollywood film Junoon is based on Bond's historical novel A Flight of Pigeons about an episode during the Indian Rebellion of 1857. It was produced by Shashi Kapoor and directed by Shyam Venegal. The Rusty stories have been adapted into Doordarshan TV series Ek Tha Rusty. Several stories have been incorporated in school curriculum in India, including The Night, Train at Dioli, Time Stops at Shamli, and Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra. In 2005, the Bollywood, the Bollywood director Vishal Bhardwaj made a film based on his popular novel for children, The Blue Umbrella. The movie won the National Award for Best Children's Film. So we can see some posters of his. Junoon was his movie produced by Shashi Kapoor and directed by Sham Benikal. Then we have his childhood stories, The Room on the Roof and The Vagrants in the Valley. Rusty the Boy from the Hills, another novel of his and Time Stops at Shamli is a very, very nice novel which has got a very touching story. Bond says it's courage not luck that takes us through to the end of the road. We need to be courageous. Ruskin Bond made his maiden big screen appearance with a cameo in Vishal Bhadwaj's film Saat Khun Maaf in 2011 based on his short story Susanna's Seven Husbands. Bond appears as a bishop in the movie with Priyanka Chopra playing the title role. Bond had earlier collaborated with Bhardwaj in The Blue Umbrella, which was also based on one of his works. Bond used to say, yes, 
I'd love to have a garden of my own, spacious and full of everything that is fragrant and flowering. But if I don't succeed, never mind, I have still got the tree. He also used to say, live close to nature and you'll never feel lonely. Don't drive those sparrows out of your veranda. They won't hack into your computer. Writing in simple English is considered unfashionable to some. So, to those who like to write in bombastic English, Ruskin Bond says, the whole idea is to communicate with the reader. Why make it difficult for them? Writers have to be good readers to begin with. The love for literature has to be there. He doesn't agree that the habit of reading among children is any different from when he was a boy. Reading has always been a minority pastime. One in ten read. Those of us who do read are in a way the lucky ones. Ruskin also says, let us be grateful to people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. He also says, hold on to your dreams and don't let go. Follow the rainbow, the tide in its flow. Salute the sun at the break of day. Find time for the flowers. Such wonderful words by this man who really loved nature, loved to stay in Dehradun, which is a real lap of nature, which is in the lap of nature. He also used to say, he also says, be able to laugh and to be merciful are the only things that make man better than the beast. So laugh, be merciful, do a lot of reading, do a lot of writing, love nature, admire nature, come and stay in the lap of nature, admire nature and appreciate the creation of God. So this was for today. Ruskin Bond is a wonderful writer. Do read his books, all his new publications that are coming now also. Meet you next Wednesday with words of wisdom of some other famous personality. Till then, goodbye, take care.